good evening everyone welcome to an academy let's crack neat pg myself dr apurva mittal and i am your educator for anesthesia on this prestigious platform for an academy and my referral code is apurva life and today we'll be discussing about a very important topic that is skeletal muscle relaxants how do they act the mechanism of action of skeletal muscle relaxants before starting our today's uh, topic let me introduce you an academy an academy is india's leading platform for online courses and for uh, getting the benefits of an academy please install the an academy learning app and by installing that you will be able to avail the classes from the top educators like dr pavan dr zena dr rajesh and dr preeti sharma also after installing the an academy uh, app and getting the plus or the iconic subscription you will be able to avail what are the advantages of the plus subscription are in the plus subscription you will be able to avail all the live classes for the 19 subjects which will help you in uh, cracking the neat exams pg exams also daily we are having live tests and quizzes so that you can know the progression and you can know how the questions are asked and very important we have batch courses and we have a structured schedule so this is an advantage over the youtube okay in uh, through this by, by getting the plus subscription uh, will uh, you will be able to assess the batch courses which will and be focused uh, for cracking the exams and through the structured schedule uh, you won't miss any important topics in any of the subject so these are the advantages of the plus subscription uh, what are the advantages of the iconic in that you have an academy plus subscription advantages plus with that you have prep la uh, ladder uh, in which you will have the video lectures also the question bank in which the questions which can be asked uh in the near future or which has been previously asked rapid revision course this revision course is very important uh because revision is a key success to crack any of the exams and also handwritten notes so these are the two subscriptions on the an academy platform so for the iconic subscription we have either a one month one and a half two or three year course i'm sorry one year one and a half two years or three years course and in this subscription okay in this subscription like for a one year subscription if you apply my code that is apurva life okay apurva life you'll get 10% discount on the subscription so if it was for 55000 after applying my code you will have a discount for around 4000 rupees okay and for the plus subscription we have uh, a one month three month and six months course also uh, through that you can come to know how actually the an academy works and what are the advantages of getting the subscription and uh, also you will have a rapid revision to the subscription so in that also if you apply my code that is apurva life a p w o r v a live you will get 10% discount so this was about the subscriptions the plus and the iconic subscriptions which you can avail and let's start our today's topic that is the neuromuscular junction physiology and after that i'll tell you how the skeletal muscle uh, relaxants act what are their mechanism of action so uh, guys am i audible and clear is the video clear and am i audible okay so basically the skeletal muscle relaxants okay the skeletal muscle relaxants obviously they are acting on the motor neuron the neuromuscular junction okay what happens when the impulse okay the impulse is propagated it is propagated from the dendrites till the axons okay and then it will travel into the synaptic terminals okay it will um enter into the synaptic knobs okay it will enter over here and these synaptic termi uh, terminals they are in close relation to the muscle fibers and in between this synaptic knob 
okay and the muscle fiber and the muscle fiber there is a space there is a junction and that junction is known as the neuromuscular junction okay so when the impulse okay when the impulse is uh, transmitted via the dendrites then it is traversed via the axon uh, from there it will enter into the synaptic terminals which have the synaptic knobs which are in close relationship to the muscle fibers and in between this synaptic knob and the muscle fiber we have what is known as the neuromuscular junction now how actually the impulse is propagated from the neuron to the muscle that will study so first i'll be covering about the basic physiology of the neuromuscular junction and then i'll be going about the mechanism of action of the depolarizing and non-depolarizing agents dr abhishek welcome come to the class guys if any doubt at any point please let me know okay so what is the neuromuscular junction physiology so as i told you the impulse okay the impulse it traverses from the dendrites it will go from the axon and it will go into the okay it will go into the synaptic terminal which has a synaptic knob it is the synaptic knob now when this impulse is traversed over here when this impulse comes here what it does is it opens the voltage gated calcium channel okay yaha pe on the synaptic knob they are embedded the voltage gated calcium channels now excess yaha pe bahar okay bahar there are large amount of calcium ions okay there are large amount of calcium ions so whenever the impulse is transmitted what happens these calcium ions these calcium ions they enter via the voltage gated calcium channels okay they travel via this voltage gated calcium channels and what they do is these are the synaptic vesicles okay ye synaptic vesicles hai in synaptic vesicles mein ye jo red color ke hai these are the acetylcholine they have the neurotransmitter that is known as the acetylcholine so when the calcium enters what it does is ye jo synaptic vesicles hai it goes and bind to this membrane Okay, and there is release of there is release of this acetylcholine into the neuromuscular junction. Did you get me? Did you get the point? So, Dr. Abhishek, did you understand? Others, did you understand? So, the first step, which is first step here in the neuromuscular junction physiology, that is the impulse. Okay, it comes into the synaptic knob. Okay, it comes into the synaptic knob. जहां पे सिनेप्टिक वेसाइकल्स होते हैं वॉट दे डू इज दे ओपन द वोल्टेज गेटेड कैल्शियम चैनल्स थ्रू विच इनफ्लक्स ऑफ कैल्शियम टेक्स प्लेस नाउ वंस द इनफ्लक्स ऑफ कैल्शियम टेक्स प्लेस वॉट विल हैपन फ्रॉम द थर्ड स्टेप इज फ्रॉम द सिनेप्टिक वेसाइकल्स okay there is release of neurotransmitter there is release of neurotransmitter and what is that neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine okay this acetylcholine what is the fourth step okay this acetylcholine ye jo muscle fiber hai okay this muscle fiber are you getting my point ye jo maroon color se kar rahi hu this is the muscle fiber on which okay the acetylcholine receptors are present so these are the acetylcholine receptors so what will happen the fourth step is the fourth step is acetylcholine okay it it uh, acts upon the acetylcholine receptors which are present on this muscle membrane on the postsynaptic membrane okay now when this acetylcholine okay it acts upon this acetylcholine receptor what happens there is the fifth step okay i hope this is clear the fifth step is there is structural change okay there is structural change of the acetylcholine receptor of the acetylcholine receptor dr bart welcome to the class so what i told you till now 
okay what i told you please re remember this because it will be helpful to understand the mechanism of action of the skeletal muscle relaxant so what is happening the impulse okay the impulse which is traversing from the neuron okay it will come exon okay then uh, this impulse because of this impulse there is opening of this voltage gated calcium channel from which the influx of the calcium happens the third step is from the synaptic vesicles which have the neurotransmitter the acetylcholine from that the acetylcholine is released now this acetylcholine it acts upon this acetylcholine receptors which causes the structural change of this acetylcholine receptor so now what is the structure of the acetylcholine receptor okay the first point is the acetylcholine receptor it is pentameric in nature okay it is pentameric in nature okay why because it is made up of two alpha one beta delta and epsilon subunit so it is pentameric in nature so when the acetylcholine it acts on the acetylcholine receptor there is structural change what happens there is opening of this acetylcholine receptor okay structural change structural change because of which because of which what happens there is influx okay there is influx of the sodium ions okay there is influx of the sodium ion and there is efflux of the potassium okay and efflux of potassium of potassium so kya hoga there is influx of the sodium so what will happen okay what will happen there will be positive charge okay there will be positive charge that means there will be depolarization of the muscle membrane yes there will be depolarization of the muscle membrane and when a certain threshold is achieved there will be generation of the action potential there will be generation of the action potential and also remember jab yahan se influx of the sodium ions hote hain when the motor end plate potential is generated when the motor end plate uh now nah, this is generated potential is generated around this muscle fiber okay around this muscle fiber okay ye to acetylcholine receptors hai okay around this muscle fiber peri junctionally around this junction around this junction neuromuscular junction there are voltage gated sodium channels also there are voltage gated sodium channels so once a certain potential is generated these voltage gated sodium channels they open up which because of which there is influx of more sodium ions and the action potential is generated and there is propagation in the muscle fiber and the muscle fiber it contracts is it clear is it clear dr abhishek dr but is it clear others is it clear what is actually happening at the neuromuscular junction how the muscle is contracting okay so what is i'll just quickly revise with you i'll just quickly revise with you through this diagram okay so what is happening impulse okay the impulse it is traversing from the exon okay it enters into the synaptic knob jahan par kya hai okay there are synaptic vesicles so once the impulse okay it traverses the second step is there is opening of the voltage gated calcium channels through which there is influx of this calcium influx of this calcium hoga to ye jo synaptic vesicles hai usme se release hoga kya acetylcholine ये जो एसिटाइकोलिन है इट विल एक्ट अपॉन दिस एसिटाइकोलिन रिसेप्टर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द मसल फाइबर ठीक है मसल मेम्ब्रेन देन बिकॉज ऑफ द एसिटाइकोलिन इट विल एक्ट अपॉन दिस एसिटाइकोलिन रिसेप्टर व्हिच इज व्हाट पेंटामेरिक इन नेचर देयर विल बी स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज द स्टेप 5 देयर इज इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ दिस सोडियम देयर इज इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ द सोडियम एंड व्हेन 
द एंड प्लेट पोटेंशियल इज जनरेटेड यहाँ पे पेरी जंक्शनली अराउंड दिस न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शन देर आर वोल्टेज गेटेड सोडियम चैनल्स विच विल ऑल्सो ओपन एंड देर इज एक्शन पोटेंशियल विच इज जनरेटेड विच विल हेल्प विच विल कॉज द प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ द इम्पल्स थ्रू द मसल फाइबर एंड देर विल बी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द मसल ओके सो दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स एट द न्यूरो मस्कुलर जंक्शन दैट इज हाउ द इम्पल्स विच इज जनरेटेड इन द नर्व फाइबर इट इज जनरेट इट इज कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग द मसल इट इज कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग द मसल नाउ ये जो सोडियम चैनल्स हैं एट द पेरी जंक्शनल एरिया दीज आर वोल्टेज गेटेड वोल्टेज गेटेड एंड they they are time dependent they are time dependent that is they open only for a, a very few seconds okay they are uh, they open for a very few seconds so वैसे तो they are present in the closed state ठीक है when the uh, uh, when the impulse is traversed when a membrane potential is generated they open up there will be influx of the sodium channels and so this is inactivated state this is inactivated state when no sodium is coming in when the sodium is coming in that is in the activated state which will cause the depolarization of the membrane and then they will enter into the resting phase they will enter into the resting phase resting phase ka matlab hota hai it is in the refractory period even if the impulse comes ओके बिकॉज दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द रेस्टिंग फेज द एक्शन पोटेंशियल वोट बी जनरेटेड सो द सोडियम चैनल दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द थ्री स्टेट दैट इज इन द इन एक्टिवेटेड एक्टिवेटेड एंड द रेस्टिंग फेज इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द पेरी जंक्शनल एरिया विच आर वोल्टेज गेटेड एंड टाइम डिपेंडेंट सोडियम चैनल्स ठीक है गाइज एनी डाउट इल हेयर because if you will understand this then only you will be able to understand the mechanism of action of the depolarizing and non depolarizing muscle relaxants okay please give me a thumbs up if it is clear any doubts till now okay fine so i told you i told you that the acetylcholine okay the acetylcholine it is released in the neuromuscular junction okay which acts upon the acetylcholine receptors now in the neuromuscular junction in this neuromuscular junction we have an enzyme we have an enzyme which is known as acetylcholinesterase enzyme okay ye acetylcholinesterase enzyme hota hai okay ये एसिडोलिनास्ट्रेस एंजाइम जो होता है इट ओके दिस एसिडोलिनास्ट्रेस एंजाइम इट हाइड्रोलाइसिस इट हाइड्रोलाइसिस द एसिडोलिन इनटू एसिडोलिन ए एंड कोलिन ओके सो दिस एसिडोलिन इन द न्यूरोमस्कुलर जंक्शन इट इस हाइड्रोलाइज बाय एसिडोलिनास्ट्रेस इनटू एसिटेट एंड कोलिन and when it is hydrolyzed what will happen the receptor ion channel it closes so when this channel closes so what will happen no more no more influx of sodium will happen okay so therefore what will happen the membrane will repolarize and there will be muscle relaxation and there will be muscle relaxation so muscle is depolarized or contracted only for a short period of time after that because of the presence of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme the acetylcholine it is hydrolyzed into acetate and choline which closes this receptor ion channel and therefore there is no more influx of the sodium ions the muscle end plate it repolarizes and causes muscle relaxation now dr bhatt is asking me to revise the whole mechanism once more so i'll just quickly revise it what is happening dr bhatt the first step is the impulse it is propagated from the exon into the synaptic end okay and when the impulse is propagated what will happen there will be opening of the calcium channels which will cause the influx of the calcium ions now what what will it do ye jo synaptic vesicles hai ye 
इस मेम्ब्रेन को टच करेंगे एंड देर विल बी रिलीज ऑफ द एसिटाइल कोलिन फ्रॉम दिस एंड वेन द एसिटाइल कोलिन गेट्स रिलीज वॉट विल हैपन इट विल एक्ट अपॉन द एसिटाइल कोलिन रिसेप्टर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द मसल मेम्ब्रेन okay which is pre present on the muscle membrane once they act with the acetylcholine receptor what will happen there will be structural change and there will be influx of the sodium sodium andar aayega to kya hoga there will be depolarization of the membrane there will be positive charge inside there will be depolarization of the membrane and the end plate potential is generated when it is enough when it is enough what will happen ye jo peri junctional area hai around this junction there are voltage gated sodium channels which will open up okay and the threshold is generated the action potential is generated and the uh, propagation of the action potential in the muscle fiber and muscle contraction takes place now in this neuromuscular junction the acetylcholinesterase enzyme is also present what will happen it will it will hydrolyze it will hydrolyze this acetylcholine into acetate and choline because of which kya hoga uh, the ion channel it closes uski wajah se no more influx of the sodium will take place and there will be repolarization and the muscle will relax so this is the basic mechanism of the neuromuscular junction right but others is it clear is it clear i have quickly revised it is it clear okay now coming to uh, uh, the mechanism of action coming to the mechanism of action so the skeletal muscle relaxants okay the skeletal muscle relaxants what they are doing is one second so basically anesthesia anesthesia to be a balanced anesthesia what we need is we need three components okay we need three components what we need is we need analgesia ki patient ko pain na ho we need amnesia patient should not remember anything and we need and we need muscle relaxation muscle relaxation kyo the skeletal muscle relaxation why so that we can easily intubate the patient okay and the surgeons can easily perform on those patients okay so this muscle relaxation it is provided by drugs which are known as skeletal okay skeletal muscle relaxants okay so this uh, muscle relaxation is caused by skeletal muscle relaxants and this skeletal muscle relaxants are of two types these are of two types these are depolarizing type and non depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxants okay depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant ka example hai succinylcholine or succinylmethionium okay and non depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxants is atracurium atracurium cis atracurium rocuronium okay so these all are these all are the examples on non depolarizing muscle relaxants now we will study how these skeletal muscle relaxants the depolarizing and non depolarizing uh, muscle relaxants how do they work and how do they relax these muscles okay relax these muscles is it clear so coming to the depolarizing muscle relaxants depolarizing remember depolarizing that means they are depolarizing the muscle membrane ab agar depolarization of the muscle membrane ho raha hai तो तो फिर उसमें कॉन्ट्रेक्शन होना था ना हाउ दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द मसल ओके हाउ दे आर प्रोड्यूसिंग द रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द मसल सो द डीपोलराइजिंग मसल रिलैक्सेंट दीज एग्जाम्पल इज एज आई टोल्ड यू सक्सन एंड कोलिन एंड रिमेंबर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अगर ये समझ में आ गया दीज आर नॉन कॉम्पिटिटिव they are non competitive in nature theek okay? hai they are non competitive in nature they are non competitive to acetylcholine 
सो वॉट इज इट ये जो सक्सनय कोलिन है ओके नॉन कॉम्पिटेटिव में क्या होगा ये जो सक्सनय कोलिन है इसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है द स्ट्रक्चर इट क्लोजली रिजेंबल्स इट क्लोजली रिजेंबल्स द एसिटाई कोलिन ओके ये जो सक्सनय कोलिन है विच इज अ डी पोलराइजिंग मसल रिलैक्सेड इसका ये जो स्ट्रक्चर है इट क्लोजली रिजेंबल्स द एसिटाई कोलिन विच इज अ न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर तो क्या होता है सी दिस इज द नर्व टर्मिनल ओके दिस इज द नर्व टर्मिनल ओके दीज आर द एसिटाई कोलिन रिसेप्टर्स ओके एंड दिस इज द मसल मेमरिन ओके दिस इज द मसल मेमरिन सो वेन द वेन वी आर गिविंग द सक्सिनाई कोलिन वॉट इट डज इज इट बाइंड टू ओके इट बाइंड टू द एसिटाई कोलिन रिसेप्टर नाउ एज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सक्सिनाई कोलिन इज सेम एज एसिटाई कोलिन तो क्या होगा जब ये एसिडाई कोलिन रिसेप्टर से बाइंड करेगा तो क्या होगा इट विल कॉज ओपनिंग ऑफ इट विल कॉज ओपनिंग ऑफ इट विल कॉज स्ट्रक्चरल चेंज इन द एसिडाई कोलिन रिसेप्टर उसकी वजह से देर विल बी इनफ्लक्स ऑफ द सोडियम राइट एंड देर विल बी इफ्लक्स ऑफ द पोटेशियम ठीक है अब इनफ्लक्स ऑफ सोडियम हो रहा है तो इधर क्या होगा देर विल बी पॉजिटिव चार्ज right and that will cause depolarization and that will cause depolarization of muscle membrane theek hai that will cause depolarization of the muscle membrane now the question comes if it is causing depolarization of the muscle membrane there should be contraction there should be contraction so yes after giving succinyl choline अगर आप लोगों ने कभी ओ में देखा होगा जब भी हम सक्सन कोलिन देते हैं सो इनिशियली इनिशियली देर आर फैसिकुलेशन देर आर फैसिकुलेशन ठीक है वाई दीज फैसिकुलेशन आर सीन आईलेट्स का फैसिकुलेशन होता है ठीक है मसल्स का फैसिकुलेशन होता है वाई दिस फैसिकुलेशन आर सीन इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इनिशियल डिपोलराइजेशन ऑफ द मसल मेमरी बट बट वॉट हैपन्स इज this succinyl choline okay this succinyl choline it is not acted upon by acetyl cholinesterase enzyme okay a succinyl choline it is not hydrolyzed with this acetyl cholinesterase enzyme so it keeps on binding okay so ye jyada time ke liye acetyl choline receptor ke sath bound rehta hai ओके एंड इट इज नॉट हाइड्रोलाइज बाय दिस तो क्या था सोडियम चैनल्स जो मैंने बताए थे दे वर टाइम डिपेंडेंट ओके दे वर टाइम डिपेंडेंट तो इवन इफ दिस इज गेटिंग बाउंड तो क्या होगा देर इज परसिस्टेंट डीपोलराइजेशन एंड द सोडियम चैनल्स दे एंटर इनटू द इनएक्टिवेटेड फेज फर्दर फर्दर इम्पल्स के नॉट एक्ट ऑन इट एंड देर इज रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ दैट मसल is it clear is it clear so what i am telling is the succinyl choline what it does is it closely resembles the acetyl choline it closely resembles the acetyl choline uh, neurotransmitter that has it has affinity as well as some maximal intrinsic activity on the nm receptor nicotinic muscle uh, receptors okay uski wajah se kya hoga as the structure is same it depolarizes the muscle end plate and therefore there is opening of the sodium channels and because of this there is initial twitching and fasciculations right now but they are, do not dissociate why because they are not hydrolyzed by acetyl cholinesterase enzyme what are they hydrolyzed by it is hydrolyzed by pseudo cholinesterase enzyme which is present in the plasma okay सक्सनाइ कोलिन इट इज मेटाबोलाइज बाय इट इज हाइड्रोलाइज बाय सोडो कोलिनेस्ट्रीज एंजाइम विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा सो इट इज नॉट हाइड्रोलाइज बाय दिस एंजाइम सो देर फोर देर इज परसिस्टेंट पार्शियल डिपोलराइजेशन द सोडियम चैनल्स दे एंटर इन टू द रेस्टिंग एंड देन इन टू द इनएक्टिवेटेड चेन एंड देर फोर देर इज फ्लैसेड पैरालिसिस इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर 
is it clear the mechanism of action to kya the succinylcholine is ka structure same hai acetylcholine se so it goes and bind to the acetylcholine okay so this is the first step it goes and bind to the acetylcholine receptor this is the second step third step is there is influx of the sodium therefore there is depolarization of the muscle membrane and now what happens this succinylcholine it is not hydrolyzed by okay uh, it is not hydrolyzed by acetylcholinesterase enzyme and therefore there is persistent okay so there is persistent that is the sixth step partial depolarization and these sodium channels they get inactivated and therefore there is flaccid paralysis therefore there is flaccid paralysis no so now can you understand why we are seeing initial fasciculations because we are seeing those initial fasciculations and muscle twitches with succinylcholine uska ek disadvantage bhi hai ki post operatively patient can complain of myalgia okay patient can complain of pain that is because of the initial fasciculations or the muscle contraction which is caused by succinylcholine now dr bart is asking me how long sodium channel remain open so uh, dr bart they open only for 1 millisecond okay so they open for only 1 millisecond and then they enter into the uh, inactivated state they enter into the inactivated state is it clear is it clear so this is how succinylcholine acts and why is it known as depolarizing because initially it is causing depolarization of the muscle membrane okay uh, so therefore it is known as depolarizing muscle relaxant and remember the question it causes non competitive it is non competitive in nature it is just resembling the structure is same as that of the acetylcholine which is the neurotransmitter is it clear guys is it clear now coming to can i move can i go uh, to non depolarizing muscle relaxants please let me know so this is how succinylcholine acts that is how succinylcholine acts now if this is clear then i go to non depolarizing muscle relaxants the example of that is atracurium cisatracurium procuronium okay dr poonam dr asmi dr archin dr abhishek all of you welcome to the class i hope till now it is clear if any doubts please let me know okay now now coming to non depolarizing muscle relaxants non depolarizing muscle relaxants as i told you example is atracurium cis atracurium procuronium pecuronium theek hai these are all examples of non depolarizing muscle relaxant now as the name is suggesting they are not depolarizing the muscle membrane okay they are not depolarizing the muscle membrane how do they act and uh, so basically ye jo non depolarizing muscle relaxants hai these are competitive antagonists these are competitive antagonists so they compete with okay so they compete with acetylcholine to bind with to bind with acetylcholine receptors so jab hi bhi the concentration of this non depolarizing muscle relaxants hoga to kya hoga they will go and bind with okay so if this is a non depolarizing muscle relaxant okay so it will go and bind with this acetylcholine receptors and that will cause structural change okay and therefore therefore because the structure has changed now acetylcholine cannot act on it cannot act on it and therefore there is no influx 
of sodium and therefore no impulse or uh, uh, there is no impulse is propagated is propagated or there is no muscle contraction is it clear is it clear तो ये जो एन डी एम आरस होते हैं ये क्या है दीज आर कॉम्पिटेटिव एंटेगोनिस्ट ओके सो वेन एवर देर कंसेंट्रेशन इज मोर वॉट विल दे डू दे विल गो एंड बाइंड टू द एसिटाइकोलिन रिसेप्टर्स एट द अदर साइड ठीक है दूसरे साइड पे जाके ये एक्ट कर जाएंगे तो क्या होगा उसकी वजह से द एसिटाइकोलिन रिसेप्टर का क्या होगा चेंज हो जाएगा स्ट्रक्चर चेंज हो जाएगा तो उसकी वजह से जो एसिटाइकोलिन रिलीज हुआ है इट इज नॉट एबल टू एक्ट The, it is not able to act on these receptors, and as it is not able to act, there won't be influx of the sodium channel. So sodium channel, sodium ions influx nahi ho pate, and therefore the muscle does not contract. It remains in the relaxed form. It remains in the relaxed form. Is it clear? Is it clear? Now one more important thing. one more important thing that you have to remember is the non depolarizing muscle relaxants okay the non depolarizing muscle relaxant please listen to this carefully they act at the postsynaptic membrane ye postsynaptic membrane hai okay they act on the postsynaptic membrane okay but they also act on the Pre-synaptic membrane. They also act on the pre-synaptic membrane. What happens? Okay, this is the uh, this is the nerve terminal. This is the muscle. Okay, ये जो acetylcholine होता है. Okay, normally this acetylcholine is auto-stimulatory in nature. इसका मतलब क्या हुआ? इसका मतलब क्या हुआ जब एसिटाइकोलिन रिलीज होता है तो ये क्या करता है ये ये प्री सिनाप्टिक मेम्ब्रेन ये प्री सिनाप्टिक ये क्या बोलते हैं रिसेप्टर पे एक्ट करता है एंड इट कॉजेस मोर रिलीज ऑफ द एसिटाइकोलिन व्हिच एक्ट्स ऑन दिस रिसेप्टर्स इज इट क्लियर इट ऑटो स्टिमुलेट्स इट्स ओन रिलीज फ्रॉम द नर्व टर्मिनल there is positive feedback is it clear so basically normally jo acetylcholine hota hai what it is it is auto stimulatory it is auto stimulatory in nature so kya hota hai it causes more it causes more release of acetylcholine from nerve terminal from nerve terminal when come when next impulse impulse is uh, generated theek hai to kya hota hai पहले इंपल्स आया एसिटाइकोलिन रिलीज हुआ ठीक है अब ये जो एसिटाइकोलिन होता है प्री सिनाप्टिकली ये एक्ट करता है और उसकी वजह से मोर इनफ्लक्स ऑफ द कैल्शियम मोर रिलीज ऑफ द एसिटाइकोलिन फ्रॉम द न्यूरो फ्रॉम द सिनाप्टिक वेसाइकल्स हैपन सो इट इज बेसिकली ऑटो स्टिमुलेटरी इन नेचर तो क्या होगा जैसे जैसे हम लोग पेशेंट को इम्पल्स देते हैं विद द सब्सिक्वेंट इम्पल्सेस मोर एसिटाइकोलिन गेट्स रिलीज एंड मोर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द मसल हैपेंस नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज व्हाट हैपेंस इज ये जो ये जो नॉन डिपोलराइजिंग मसल रिलैक्सेंट्स है एज आई टोल्ड यू इट एक्टेड अपॉन द पोस्ट सिनाप्टिक मेम्ब्रेन okay it acted upon the postsynaptic membrane it also acts on this presynaptic receptor okay it also acts on this presynaptic uh, receptor so non depolarizing muscle relaxants if they will act on this presynaptic receptor what will happen the auto stimulatory nature the auto stimulatory nature of acetylcholine is also blocked is also blocked so it also prevents further release 
Okay, so non depolarizing muscle relaxants, they act on this presynaptic membrane, okay, which blocks this autostimulatory uh, nature and therefore further release. Release is inhibited, is inhibited. Okay, so this non depolarizing muscle relaxants they act both on the postsynaptic and presynaptic membrane. Phoenix synaptic membrane. Now, why is it important? Why is it important? You must have heard about a phenomena which is known as fade, fade phenomena. In what? In train of four. Okay. Fade phenomena in train of four, that is the neuromuscular monitoring. So that fade phenomena, when, what is fade phenomena? Okay, with subsequent impulses, okay, the muscle twitching, okay, it decreases, it decreases, it fades, it fades. And that is because this non-depolarizing muscle relaxant, it acts on the presynaptic membrane also, blocking the autostimulatory action of acetylcholine and therefore with subsequent impulses the muscle twitching it decreases and that is responsible for fade that is responsible for fade phenomena and that is seen only with non depolarizing muscle relaxants it is not seen with depolarizing muscle relaxant is it clear Guys, is it clear? So, revise to revise this. To revise this, what happens? The non depolarizing muscle relaxants they bind to the acetylcholine receptors at other side. At other side, therefore, it prevents acetylcholine from binding to acetylcholine receptor and therefore there is no ion channel opening and thus the end plate potential does not occur and therefore the end plate potential does not occur and therefore no depolarization no depolarization of of membrane so this act this happens at the post synaptic level is it clear is it clear now also also they act at the presynaptic nicotinic cholinergic receptors and therefore the autostimulatory nature it is inhibited it is inhibited and release of acetylcholine is reduced and therefore we see fade phenomena which is very important it is asked many times so this happens at the presynaptic level at the presynaptic level is it clear is it clear so why fade phenomena is seen with the non depolarizing muscle relaxant that is because they act even on the presynaptic muscle uh, nicotinic cholinergic receptors which inhibits the autostimulatory nature of acetylcholine and therefore the acetylcholine is, is reduced with other impulses and therefore we see fade phenomena is it clear any doubts in this guys any doubt is in this i hope this is clear if any doubt please let me know okay so that is how the depolarizing and non depolarizing so depolarizing these those are non competitive antagonist agonist and non depolarizing are competitive antagonist okay okay so that was about the depolarizing and non depolarizing any doubts in this any doubts if not, I'll go to the other very important point that is phase 2 block. That is the dual block. Can I go to the next slide? That is the phase 2 or the dual block. Please let me know. Dr. Achin, Dr. Bhatt, Dr. Asmi, Dr. Poonam, Dr. Abhishek. Can I go towards the phase 2 block? That is the dual block. Okay. 
so the phase two block or the dual block it is shown by succinylcholine now what is phase two block or the dual block see the succinylcholine i told you it is hydrolyzed by pseudo cholinesterase enzyme okay so this succinylcholine it is hydrolyzed by pseudo cholinesterase enzyme so if if okay there is a typical pseudo cholinesterase enzyme okay or if i have given given more uh, a more amount of succinylcholine or i have given like i have given high dose of succinylcholine or if i have given succinylcholine frequently what will happen what will happen it is not okay if there is a typical pseudo cholinesterase enzyme so what will happen the pseudo uh, succinylcholine it is not metabolized okay ya fir agar maine bahut zyada de diya to what will happen in these conditions the succinylcholine in all these condition the succinylcholine it acts as it acts as non depolarizing muscle relaxant okay that means it acts on both okay in these conditions the succinylcholine it starts acting as non depolarizing muscle relaxant that means it will act on both post synaptic and pre synaptic level okay and therefore there is dual block there is dual block it is acting on post synaptic and pre synaptic and therefore there is dual block and therefore as it is acting on the pre synaptic therefore there is fade phenomena fade phenomena which is seen with succinylcholine if if it enters into the phase 2 block or the dual block okay or the dual block तो नॉर्मली सक्सनाकोलिन के साथ फेट फिनोमिना नहीं दिखता है ठीक है बट इफ द सोडोकोलिनास्ट्रेस एंजाइम इज ए टिपिकल या फिर इफ वी हैव गिवन अ हाई डोज ऑफ हाई अमाउंट ऑफ सक्सनाकोलिन और इफ आई हैव गिवन इट रिपीटेडली और फ्रीक्वेंटली सो देयर आर चांसेस दैट इट वोंट गेट मेटाबॉलाइज्ड एंड इट विल एंटर इनटू द फेज 2 ब्लॉक और द ड्यूअल ब्लॉक then it will start acting as a non depolarizing muscle relaxant and that will also show fade phenomena that will also show fade phenomena so i'm so sorry okay so uh, in the phase 2 block uh, it happens when there is high dose of depolarizing muscle relaxant that is the succinylcholine it will start acting as a non depolarizing muscle relaxant and therefore what will happen there will be desensitization of the receptor to the acetylcholine right and the acetylcholine it cannot act on the nm receptors it resembles the block which is produced by the competitive blockers that is ndm that is ndmr so that is fade to block and therefore we see fade phenomena in this we see fade phenomena is it clear guys is it clear so this was regarding the neuromuscular junction physiology and then i told you how the depolarizing non depolarizing muscle relaxants work and what is the phase 2 block or the dual block that is seen by succinylcholine that is seen by succinylcholine okay so please revise this lecture of today so that you will be able to understand tomorrow's lecture that is how the neuromuscular blockage monitoring is done in which i'll be discussing about the tetanic stimulation the train of four phenomena the double burst phenomena in which many questions are asked so please go through this lecture it will just take 5 to 10 minutes so that you can uh, you know understand clearly tomorrow's lecture <coughs> i'm sorry that is upon the neuromuscular blockage monitoring okay जिसमें हम लोग ट्रेन ऑफ फोर पे काफी क्वेश्चंस आते हैं सी अबाउट द द डबल ओके
Uh, and uh, why the fade phenomena is seen with the depolar non depolarizing and not with the depolarizing muscle relaxant. So that was all for today's class. I hope that was clear. Okay. Uh, so as you all know, tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m., <coughs> we will meet on YouTube. Okay. And tomorrow, we'll, uh, rem uh, we will discuss the neuromuscular blockade monitoring which is a very important topic for the exams okay many questions are asked clinical based image based questions are asked okay so tomorrow let's meet on the youtube channel okay click the bell icon on the youtube so that you will have the notifications on when will the lectures uh, be uh, uh, when will the lectures be taken and if you like my class please click the like button and subscribe and for the plus and iconic subscription use my referral code apurva life that is a p double o r v a life to get 10 percent discount okay 10 percent discount on the same and on the telegram app we have a channel let's crack crack neat pg okay let's crack neat pg uh, and through this channel you will be able to know when are the classes uh, happening uh, what topics will be covered and what will be the schedule uh, Dr. Bhatt, I'll be taking anesthesia machine um, I was I was planning to uh, start with regional anesthesia after that and then go for anesthesia machines so maybe in third week of january okay i'll be starting with anesthesia machine okay so uh thank you all i hope this topic was clear just revise this so that tomorrow we can uh quickly go through the neuromuscular monitoring